Yuri, we've come to the end of the European Transpersonal Associations Conference. Mm -hmm. You've been a prominent figure here at the conference. I've liked what I've heard you say, and so if I may ask you one question. What do you see as the value of a transpersonal perspective in coaching or therapy? Okay. It is very simple, because I like to make things simple. There is a human being out there, okay, walks down the street, was diagnosed with cancer, has depression, has panic attacks, and he goes to therapy. So, as for me, transpersonal is a holistic approach and is an integrative approach, I will start first of all with the here and now, with the present. Okay? One of the questions I like to ask, you, you came through the door, by the end of our process, when you walk out of the door, what do you want to take with you? So I'm listening to the needs. What do you need from me? Then, I'm spend some time listening to the symptoms, which are usually cognitive behavior in the present. Then I'm asking two very important questions. How long ago did it start? And what happened in your life around the time? And then from the present, we're moving to the past to understand the emotional roots of the symptoms that he had. So, from the present, the cognitive behavioral, using also the humanistic approach, we go to the psychodynamic approach, trying to find the sources of the problem. But some people, say, when I ask them, what do you want? They said to me, I want my life back. And I say, no. You want me to help you to go back to the place when it all started? So, when your symptoms have dissolved, okay, and you cleared all the emotional baggage that you have, what changes would you like to make in your life? And then we move to the future. Sometimes people don't have a clear future. So then I tell them, I want you to imagine. And I want you to imagine that you are going to visit your future self. And your future self is going to give you advice how to manage your obstacles and achieve a better future and find your dreams and aspirations. The most important thing for me is people will find their meaning and passion. So, if the present was cognitive behavioral, okay, and humanistic, and the past was psychodynamic, the future will be existential, the meaning of life. Putting all this together, for me, is the transpersonal. Because, from my point of view, nothing exists on its own. Even the transpersonal on its own is transpersonal, it's not enough. For me, transpersonal is integrative and holistic. That means past, present, and future. Finding your meaning and passion, and when I find my meaning and passion in life, when I know what I feel passionate about and what is my and what meaning I give to my life, I give many meaning to my life and I'm going to do something with my passion. Abraham Maslow, okay, who is one of the founders of transpersonal psychology, he was asked what happens after self actualization. And he said, after you self actualize, you have to start transcending some values which means you need to help other people to self-actualize. So at that moment, this is your passion. So, in the transpersonal way, in business, in coaching, in education, in therapy, what we need to look at is what is really important for us and why, why we're doing for what, what we're doing, not only for a private benefit, but for the benefit of society. Because if I want to achieve enlightenment, it's very hard for me to achieve enlightenment within a dark, a, dark, a dark world. So I have to start to enlighten my surrounding, not only myself. I need to take my spiritual and my enlightenment and transcend it to people around me. But when I do that, the most important thing, I need to be able to speak their language I need to get out 
of my uh, spiritual cave. I need to go down to the valley when people are, and I need to talk the language they understand, hold their hand, and walk with them up to the self-actualization, step by step. What I would not like to do is sit on my, in my spiritual cave and shout to the people of the valley, can you please come up because this is a night and place. And find your own way here. Yeah. What I've understood, if I may summarize, yeah. according to my understanding, is your transpersonal approach in what sounds like both covering therapy and coaching from past, present to future, Mm -hmm. from self to society to spirit, yeah. is a full-spectrum therapeutic coaching approach that treats the whole person. Of course it's coaching, because I'm coaching the person to find for themselves a better future that gives them a meaning for life. And from finding the meaning of life on an existential level, we also start to get closer to our spiritual reality. So it is everything. For me, I'm trying to define transpersonal as wide as possible, as not as narrow as possible. Okay. So one story to summarize it. Where I live, in the town next to me, there is a priest. Every evening, the priest goes out of the church and goes to bars where the alcoholics are sitting. He orders a, a glass of orange juice, and he sits with the alcoholics and he talks to them. He got out of the church to talk to the people that really need him. Because he understand that standing in the church and preach God to those who already believe will be a waste of time. So the real God's work and the real spiritual, transpersonal, enlightened work is to go to get out of the church and talk to the people and bring them with you. This is spirituality, this is transpersonal for me. This is how I understand it, and this is how I live my transpersonal life. Eric, thank you. Thank you. Would you like to end by telling us a little bit about um, where people can find you and uh, how they can access whatever you have available? Okay. My name is Yuri Bishonsky. Find me on Facebook. Go on YouTube. Type my name and I've got a lot of interviews there, presentations and things like that.